What am I doing now? I, I just wanted... I just wanted to talk to you one last time. I don't need the money. I don't even care about the book. Please, God, please save me. Oh, fuck. And with that, my consciousness faded. No, wait, no. No, no, hang on. I'm not okay with these decisions. Let me go back. All right. It's been a couple days since I played this. And by that, I mean probably like a week and a half since I played this game. And, you know, we got to keep going. Let's do it. I think I was playing. Eh, yeah, that's what I was doing. All right. I don't remember the controls. Uh, there's like a switch option. I, I, uh, how do I switch? Well, I guess we'll never know. Wait, hang on. And I just like look that up. Options. Controls. How do I switch character? Switch. Switch character is R. Okay. Now I know. All right, we're good. Just gotta watch out for all these traps. All these thousands of traps. Admit it. You hate all your friends, eventually you'll kill another one. What? Wait, wait a minute. What's this? Just resplendent malice, so resentful, so envious. Whoever wrote this is clearly must have lost all measure of sanity. Hey, what's up, friend? This flyer is a lovely spirit item, all its own. I must have it. Oh wait, I remember this. Niwa? Oh yeah, this chick is crazy. Cursed flyer obtained, because she's insane. Wretched, pitiful, wonderful. She's insane. And then we spawn a demon. It would seem the spirit in possession of this particular item didn't much care for the joy added suffering. A black shadowy figure emerged from the paper and poised itself to attack us. Oh, no you don't! This was no problem at all. I quickly slid a talisman out from my plastic card case and slapped it right on the forehead of the lunging black spirit. And there it goes! A sound not unlike that of a ricocheting steel echoed through the... Uh, through the hallway as the dark presence found itself forcibly banished back into the cursed fire. Whoa. We're not the hunted in here. We're the hunters. Still branching the card case, I struck an anime style pose and grinned triumphantly. Hey, what's up, Animudi? You know, Sanaiki used to do that exact same victory pose. Oh, how embarrassing. We uh, we have to hurry and find something of Naho's in here, a spirit item. You're not planning to harm Naho like that too, are you? Well, that all depends on her now, doesn't it? In actuality, I was furious over the loss of Naho. I, I just wasn't letting it show. I want to obliterate all the low-level spirits that filled this place with their malice. I wanted revenge. This was personal, and it took everything I had to quell those instincts. Within Heavenly Host, malice and uh, malicious entities may chase you down and attack you. If they touch you, your HP will lower, and your darkening will increase. If you're in possession of a talisman, however, the entity will be banished. But do note that each spirit subdued will cost you one talisman. To keep a close eye on your stock. Loving the new emote? Oh, I haven't seen her in action yet. Use it. Let me see what it looks like. Alright, let's go. That's a trap right there. Let's walk around it. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Is that thing gonna get up and attack me? A name tag rests beside the corpse. High class C. Augusto. Strangulation by a friend gone mad. Lovely. Oh, let's just go up there. Oh, I do like the new emote. I'm not just saying that because it's my face. Let's go. 
this will lead me somewhere, but what's up here? There's nothing wrong with liking your own D. That sounds weird now that I said it. Ah! Thought I was going inside the wall. Hi, Bo. It's okay, Run. I still love you. How are you doing today, Run? Now, let's see what's over here. What the? Another dead person. Niwa, look out! Huh? It's a wire? Whoa! Hey! The, if you walked into a piano wire stuck uh, sprung this tap, could easily slice you in two. Jesus! We'll have to see, Anna Moody. Oh, and you're teaching this entire week? Well, good luck, Ren. Was this a booby trap laid by one of the victims who came to the school, perhaps? No, it couldn't be. I'm sensing a deep spiritual energy emanating from within it. It was set by that ghost, then? I believe so, or maybe the space itself created it. I don't know the rules in this game. Whatever the case, we should consider ourselves under attack in here and proceed with caution. I completely agree. Thank you. Touching a wire trap will trip it, significantly lowering your lead character's HP. You can break the wire without tripping it, however, by standing in front of it and pressing the interact button. This will cut it and permanently remove it from play. Okay, I feel like I'm going to tap the button too hard, but I'm going to try. Eh. The wire has been safely removed. Okay, don't screw me over like that. Another name tag. You need to hurry up and die like the others. Hey, don't say that. That's mean. Oh, there's a trap right there. Alright, cool. There's too many traps in this game. It's a dead end. We should go back. Hold on. Niwa couldn't... Couldn't we use that plank for something? Oh, okay. There we go. It's caught under the desk. I don't think I could get it out myself. Would you do the honors, Haruyuki? Sure, would you mind standing back? Let's switch place and I'll get it. The original corpse party used to legit freak you out. I never got to play it. I'm liking this corpse party so much that I'm probably going to pick up the entire series and stream for you guys. Somehow or another, Haruyuki was able to free the loose plank of wood from beneath the mountain of deaths. Loose board obtained. Let's see over here. It is some nasty goo. I'm in the girl's bathroom. Okay. Nothing. Oh, a dead girl. Lovely. Got another one. Oh, shiny item. Batteries. Oh, wait a minute. I, I just realized that the more I use the battery, the more it, like, freaking dies. Like, there's limited batteries in this game. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. They've come to shock and blood out after taking a knife to the chest. Dark mode. Let's go. I'm walking even though I can sprint just because I know I'm going to step on every trap the second I start sprinting. If that's annoying, you guys, I just want to give you that disclaimer.
Uh, what did I think of dumpster diving in Underrail? It was horrible. It was exactly as fun as I thought dumpster diving would be. Not very. Oh, I thought I was about to trip that trap. Trippity trap. Wait a minute. All right, save. There we go. Okay, right, now let's see what's on this side. this that's not a door that's a door or sounds of angry spirits emanating from within the room it would be best not to go in there right now uh but that's the only door right whatever wait hang on there's another door right here there's okay i'm sure if you knock it'll be okay ren do you want me to die Uh, the gap is too wide to cross as is. It can't be traversed without something. Oh, but you know, I got this magical loose board. Also, when you run out of safe places to look for oddity, hunting for them becomes more fun. It could just wants me to die. The door won't budge. It feels like almost like someone is holding it shut from the other side. Wait a minute. Oh, you see, I turn off my light at the worst time. I almost walked into this dumb thing. Uh, I don't like playing with a mouse and keyboard. It's just because of things like this. There. Alright, there we go. Wait a minute, that's a trap. Alright, let's go up the stairs. Ooh. Okay. Bandage! Nice! Right. I haven't even taken any damage yet. I actually feel super accomplished right now. Second wing spiral staircase. This looks important. I'm going to come back to this. Let's go over here real quick. Oh! Safe point. Never a bad time to find that, right? You're waiting for me to blindly waltz into a trap? Why do you guys always want me to lose? Enter the locker? Yes, I would love to. Oh wait, nothing's attacking me. I don't need to enter the locker. Content. <laughs> Why, Ren? You're not supposed to be on their side. Wait, what? what do you, do you hear that? Is that a piano? Oh yeah, that's the new emote, Ika. You must be near the music room. It's coming from downstairs. Let's try to find it. Oh no! Tentacles! Oh, it's your favorite, Ika. It would probably be best to check on the music room first. I just want to get rid of the trap because I know I'm going to be running away and then I'm going to walk. God damn it. There are tentacles completely wrapped around the door. It doesn't seem possible to get in right now. Look, it's Ika's room. Wait a minute. I saw a thingy. You can run, but you can't hide. I will chase you till you've died. Oh, well, I'm so glad I came back to read that. It's a poetic demon. Friend, no. 
Internal organs ruptured by repeated hammer strikes to abdominal area. Oh boy. Not sure if I want to go find out what's going on with that piano. I think I'm going to go the other way first. It's probably going to make me go back downstairs. Why would you ever go investigate the creepy piano? Damn it, I'm running out of steam. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. It's that fly in your room that can't ever go out the window that's open. What a horrible smell. It's the smell of death. No, wait, it's even more pungent than that. Something's rotting. Stay behind me, Nuo. I appreciate it. I appreciate that the voice actors actually, like, put, like, their hands on their mouth when saying these voice lines. What's wrong? Demon fart, ew! <laughs> oh, boy! What the fuck? It's a human body for sure, but... How ghastly the amount of decomposition here is. Ugh. It looks ritualistic. The corpse is part of some kind of spell, maybe. <clears throat> Let's go, I'm about to throw up. Yeah. Can I Oh wait, is this thing to gonna come to life or is is the thing that did this to this guy gonna attack me? Now would be a good time to grab that hammer. Ren, no! <laughs> I think the thing that did that to that guy is, is gonna attack me. What is this sound? It's echoing from all around it. I can't take it. Even plugging my ears with my fingers isn't doing a thing. My eardrums feel like they're about to burst. Are you okay? I can't hear you very well. I really thought I was going to die. Damn! Death by really loud noise. Can you imagine that shit? I'm sure it's happened. I'm not good with loud sounds. I wish this place would give us a break already. Does that mean anything? I have no idea. Guess that explains why you get so jittery during thunderstorms, Haruyuki. Do you have to bring that up? Can't go this way, Chief. The gate is locked up tight. End of the line. Got like no stam at all. You can imagine what. Keep going. You almost experienced that when I when I read the fanfics. Didn't you write one of the fanfics? Don't get mad at me. You're ready for him to come get me? No, don't say that. I don't want to be dead, Zen. You're supposed to be cheering for me, Ren. We have almost the same name. There's a tr uh, tremendous spiritual presence at the bottom of this staircase. Countless lost souls are silently screaming in ag ag agony and despair. It would be best not to go this way right now. Well, I mean, I you don't need to tell me twice.
I'm gonna save it one more time. There, there's too much BS that's gonna kill me in this game right now. See this circle? Indeed I do. How the fuck do I get downstairs? Maybe he'll teleport? Alright, let's... Hmm, I feel like some bad shit's about to happen. In this demonic room. Ah, fuck! Don't do it! Sayaka, you in here? It's me, Inumaru. Hi, piano. That's so weird. I wonder who's playing. Is somebody there? Sayaka? Hey, how are you? Could look at Beethoven. Hmm? Hmm? That's creepy. Why am I investigating further? Use skill and exorcism to fight spirits in an effort to stop friends darkening but fell in battle. What a badass. Wait a minute, he looks exactly like me. How are you, Yuki? Look out! Huh? Ah! Tentacles! No! Whoa! There are often tentacles hidden under fleshy mounds like this. If you're caught by them, your darkening will rise and you'll eventually die. Should they latch on you to repeat uh, onto you, repeatedly press the confirm button as quickly as possible to shake them off. That was a close one. Guess we gotta be mindful of the living floors now too. Probably best to stay away from the stretch of floor. No! Don't cheer for me to get tentacled! I'm going to kill you right this minute if I can just kill you. Kill you! What? You're talking too, right? <gasps> ah! An evil pa- oh, oh boy! It's the Mario 64 alive piano. Ah! Oh, fuck a duck! That was close. <laughs> you were behind you. Huh? What the? What the hell is up with this room? Not just this room, but the entire building. This entire space is full of pure malice. Seika doesn't appear to be in here. We should go. Yes, yes we should. Get me the fuck out of here. Ah, Sayaka, you're okay! Thank god, thank god. What are you saying, how are you? That's not Sayaka, it's just another corpse. Thank god, thank god, thank god, thank god, that, uh, what? Oh no, I'm losing my mind! Whoa, Haruyuki! I'm not sensing any outside presence, which means this is not good. Haruyuki's mental state is collapsing. If this continues, he's going to succumb to the darkening. Oh, God! That's the spirit of a man who died here. Stop being an asshole. Knock it off. At this rate, his mind will cloud. His body will turn black as coal and he will die. Do you know about the darkening? 
My friend died from it. Examine my body. If you pray to that statue, will be spared as fate. It was too late for my friend. But it's not too late here. Thank you. Statue, huh? This must be it. How are you could hold on to this? Huh? New one? Thank goodness you're back to normal. In this space, even seemingly ordinary objects can be suffused with malice. Hey, Keith. That's good advice. If we keep examining corpses and interacting with spirits here, it's going to have a serious effect on our mental states. From this point on, I think it would be best to avoid interacting with anything multiple times unless we have a very good reason to do so. Ah, fuck! Dude, this is an investigation game! Are you kidding me? I'm not sure I entirely follow, but okay. Portraits above the black floor all have creepy glowing eyes. Oh yeah, guys, it's Waffles' birthday. Tell her happy birthday. I just want to save the... Yeah. No, there's no trap here. Don't kill me. No. I just want to save the game. There's a save point. Save point! Ika, you're literally insane. Okay. Well. Ah, fuck. God damn it. You guys are insane. All of you. Every single one of you are insane. I am not insane! I don't know how everyone that follows me is totally insane. It's just the way it is. Oh, there was nothing up here. Or was there? Oh yeah, the game set to stop re- ah, fuck! I'm not gonna finish my sentence. 
There's too many traps in this game. Yes, big oopsie. The biggest of oopsie. This one. Only Sam can make a Jackbox room code of me. <laughs> let's let's go back to Okay, let, let's let's go back to the spiral staircase. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go next. <laughs> ah, fuck a duck! Damn it, I'm taking unnecessary damage all of a sudden. I'm gonna stop sprinting everywhere. This is why I wasn't sprinting. Is it safe to sprint on the stairs? Yeah. Now we can't go this way. Maybe like up the stairs, guys. Let's go up the stairs. Wait, wasn't that like closed by like a big gate? Whatever. We'll find out in a second. God damn it. You guys are insane. Yep, our friend still is here. I touched him, just for you, Ren. Fucking why? I don't want to I don't want to know the logistics of me fucking a squid and an octopus at the same time, but I can assure you that this will never happen. I was just checking if I can fall off the freaking stairs. Luckily, I can't take cheap damage that way. Wait a minute, hang on. Let's go this way and then go over here. And what are we missing? I feel like we've explored everywhere. Let's check inventory. What is wrong with this man? Ah, fucking sh- I'm so salty. I'm gonna- Fuck you, game. You're not gonna do that to me again, game. This time I'm ready. Ren. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Alright. There, I'm just gonna go straight to the spot I need to go. What? This is a, I saw it. Just touch it. Not with your boob. With your hand. Will you just interact with it by not crashing into it, please? I'm asking nicely. 
There! Jesus Christ! Something bad's about to happen. What's wrong, Niwa? I, I thought I heard someone call my name. It may have just been my imagination, though. Chasing after profit in a place like this. You really are a lost cause, Aiko. Oh no, a talking door! Oh! Whoa, spirit! I thought I heard moans coming from the floor. It would seem there was an entity hiding in the mass of flesh. Forget the analysis, Niwa. It's time to run. Uh, God! Wait, wait, hang on. Are you kidding me? They put one of those freaking God stupid traps. Now, how are you there? Aiko, give me your intel. Niwa, what's wrong? Can't you hear that? Hear what? Aiko, 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 iPhone. Wait! There's a wooden doll here that seems to be completely suffused with holy power. Here is the darkening. Okay. No, it's not funny when I screw up. God damn it. Wait a minute. This is like a great spot to hide a wire. Okay, there's about to be some bullshit. I can already tell. It's your reaction. We love it. Damn it! <laughs> Heavenly host journals. Good. Wait, that's it? Wait a minute, hang on. That's it? That's all that was? No, don't die, flashlight battery. I need you. You're the only thing I have. Wait a minute. This is going to be some tentacle bullshit, isn't it? Grr! I made it. Not a soul to be found. The room was empty. Despite the voice I'd heard, a voice I... A voice I knew exceptionally well. It was lunchtime at... Paulo... What? It was lunchtime at Academy High School. Lemon bread in hand, I'd sought out Naho, who'd either already finished her lunch or simply wasn't planning to eat, instead using her time to catch up on some reading. Hey, Naho, how did the info I sold you on Heavenly Host turn out? Naho put her book down and looked up at me. She was smiling from ear to ear. Couldn't have gone better. I tracked down Yoshi's estate, and sure enough, a phantom house appeared on the property. The whole investigation was a smashing success. I haven't got my hands on a means of visiting the ever after. It's astounding. Mr. Kibiki was very pleased. Well then, that's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Aiko. The future's looking really bright now. This is quite the rarity. You thanking me? Spirits prey on human emotion, particularly in the places we're weakest. Trying to make me remember things I don't want to. 
Sorry, but I'm not about to play along with the parlor tricks of low-grade entities like yourselves. Humans are made of much sterner stuff than that. You ought to be ashamed. I put on a good show, but couldn't change the expression on my face into anything but a frown. Anyone looking closely would have been able to see through it with almost no effort. Ooh! Bucks! I like boxes. It's a box, Ica. <laughs> no, Ren. No, we don't need a tentacle. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of fours. What kind of phone number is that? It's an EMF spike. Someone's trying to communicate. Sayaka? Sayaka? Huh? It's Sayaka, listen! Are you sure? How are you not Sayaka? Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you trying to say? Where are you? I'm coming to help. Ryuki, wait! Oh, and there he goes. Oh, there's about to be some bullshit. I'm gonna have to like bob and weave through some shit. Warning away from a demon. Sayaka! Sayaka! Are you there, Sayaka? Sayaka! I'm on my way. Stop! What's your problem? What do you mean, what's your problem? You're a freaking idiot. That's my problem. Th this is probably a trap. That's ridiculous. You saw the other traps yourself, right? The school wants us dead. Uh, what are you doing? Move it. Don't open it! Don't open it! Don't open it! Oh wait, it's probably the main girl, isn't it? Let's listen, you can hear- Oh no, wait, he thinks it's Sayaka. No, no, don't open it! Don't open it! I hope it's like a dude. A really fat, bald dude. <laughs> No. 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 I'm not. I, I wouldn't fucking open it. Now I especially wouldn't open it. I. <laughs> what if this was like a porta potty, and she really just needs toilet paper? <laughs> Oh, now it definitely sounds like she's in a porta potty. 
<laughs> Stop, Haruyuki. Don't! Let me go! Thank you. Get a hold of yourself! Good. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I did I just do a dumb thing? Oh shit. This is awful. I can't, I wasn't prepared to face a friend's death. Is this really happening? Oh fuck. Damn, I, 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 I want to know what happens if I saved her. Guys, I'm going to restart. We have to find Ayumi. <laughs> your fault. What? You... Isn't this all your fault? You're sorry you want to preserve her memory. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't you even care? You have any conscience at all? Heavenly House Elementary, the Nirvana, all of it. You're the one who gave Sa Sanoki this bullshit intel. And you knew what that meant for Sayaka. They were all about being psychic detective duo together. You knew your actions would have a profound influence on her too. Why could hey, I'm talking! I'm an intelligence agent. I take pride in what I do, and I do the best job I can, no matter what. I'm, I'm not responsible for what people do with the intel I give them. You know that. I'm sorry. Oh shit, he's turning. Oh shit, he's turning. Oh shit, he's turning. A hellhound? Is that what the darkness does to a person with a high spiritual ability? Or you can spirit is going berserk. Oh fuck a duck! The cursed flyer I had taken from the wall was actually laughing at me! <laughs> what am I doing now? I, I just wanted... I just wanted to talk to you one last time. I don't need the money. I don't even care about the book. Please, God, please save me. Oh, fuck. And with that, my consciousness faded. No, wait, no. No, no, hang on. I'm not okay with these decisions. Let me go back. No, 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 no. There. 
not okay with these decisions. I must find out the truth. Flight of stairs, take a right, go up here. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, I hate this game right now. Fucking damn it. I was just like, wait a minute, wasn't there like a thing here? Yes, there was. you game fuck you just trolling me endlessly right now that i'm gonna save it right here there that is fucking flight of stairs will you cut it no not my flashlight this thing get Game. Do some. Yeah, we're going back in there. I hate this game so fucking much right now. Naoto. Shut up! I don't want to hear about Nao-chan. I want to hear about when Trap-chan is gonna die. <laughs> Iko, Iko, Iko. iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. Leave me alone! <clears throat> I just want to get back to where we were, okay? Oh, this fuck again. Ah! Oh, that was an accident. But I guess I spent my only talisman. Whatever. Fuck it. <clears throat> Alright, this time... This time we're gonna find out what happens when we open that fucking thing. I wonder if we're gonna have like three players now. I still feel like it's a lie. Or maybe my my guy's gonna wind up dead. And there's like no winning. Either he turns angry or he's fucking dead. No, we're gonna find out what happens. We're gonna find out right now.
Still sounds like she needs to take it down. <laughs> this is never not gonna sound like Taco Bell to me. Don't stop, Haruyuki. I decided to let Haruyuki go, as I thought it unlikely I could stop him even if I tried. His devotion to Sayaka was simply too strong for me to stand in his way. Sega! Huh? Oh, big lips! Big lips! It's now just loading. What is it loading? Is it loading big lips? Alright, let's do it. Aha! Floppity tentacle Gwen. God damn it! I see that bullshit. I ain't gonna fall for it. Not this time. Not this time, game. This time I know. You game, you and your. <clears throat> there we go. You're the only streamer I watch. What? Who else? Everyone else. What's your favorite streamer? I. You know it's kind of crazy how long you've been watching me at this point, Animudi and Ika. You guys have been here since, like, before I even had 50 followers. It's crazy to think about it, isn't it? I was just thinking about it a couple days ago. You're my favorite screamer. <laughs> God! <laughs> I also like him meditate since he agreed with me about Zen playing under rail. God damn it! What did I know? Look! It's even in the cutscene! This time I will not fail. Will you? Thank you. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we're just gonna run back and not take any damage and we're gonna go save the game. There! I don't have to do that bullshit again. Fuck you, game. I don't even need the flashlight anymore. I'm done with it. Because now I know what to do. Out of my way, dumb spirit guy. I ain't got time for your reindeer games. Uh -oh. <laughs> He got mad that I ran past him. Okay. I came on when you had 20 followers. Yeah! Actually, probably like 17 followers when you hit- when, when you stuck with me, huh, Animuti? I'd like to order a small cheese pizza. Do you want some marinara sauce? <laughs> Fucking big lips. I'm ready for it. Gonna go save it. Gonna go save it again. I don't got a limitation on how many times I can save the game, as far as I remember. Maybe Sayaka was a piranha plant all along. Maybe he fell in love with a piranha plant. There we go. This is the third time I'm, I've been subjected to her taking a very violent shit. Uh, 
<laughs> she sounds like she's grunting. Ew. Don't stop, Haruyuki. I want to see big lips. Sega! Huh? Wait, it's doing the thing again. Guys, it's doing the thing again. All right, let's go. All right, time for the real game. I verified the integrity of the game cash game. How many times must I see her take her violent dump? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't stop him. Sega! Whoop, I broke the game, you guys. We're fucked. I exist to break games. This is not canon in the lore. There's no way to fix it, and we're fucked. Game! Oh! <laughs> I, I hit space and it works. Wait, was I just supposed to hit space? I never hit space before this. Oh. I hit escape. I. All right, horse, you're gonna have to skip all the way to this section. All right. Anyway. Uh. What What do I do? Our next victims have arrived. This should be fun. How will they scream for us? I wonder. And what would be the best way to kill them? I can't wait to find out. Let's get them from the back. Giggity. I, I want... I want to go home. Let's go. Aiko? Aiko, you came. You mustn't come. Let me out, please. No. Now's not here. You must turn back. Wait, what? What the... What the huh? I looked down at my feet and found blood pooling between my legs. I was bleeding from the groin. It was coming out so fast. It was like a fountain. Ew! I don't need I don't need this to happen right now. That's it's okay. Wait, did she prepare for this? Oh god. Oh god, why am I wondering this? Oh my god! Ew! I don't want to hear this! That's so gross to think about! It was getting more and more severe by the second soon. I was practically wading in a pool of my own blood. I mean, I this, this is something that every woman needs to deal with at some point. Hopefully not a pool of their own blood, but at, le at, at least a little, I guess, right? Ah! I don't want to hear this. A chunk of reddish black flesh fell out next, landing with a mightier splash. Oh, God! She just had a miscarriage. Then a red one, an orange one, a white one, a black one. Oh, my God! She slept with the whole town. Oh, those are my organs. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel another pool of blood welling up in the back of my throat now. My vision went in both directions as if my head were split down the middle and opened up like a cedar cabinet. The world then blurred and faded away as I collapsed into the pool.
from our groin area, apparently. All right, wait a minute. Oh! No, I don't want to fucking save the wrong ending. Ew. Oh, that's why my organs were coming out of my groin area. Because I got stabbed it. Yay, now we get to watch for the ninth time. So I did pick the right ending at first. Stop. Time to get slapped, son. Let me go. Now. Get a hold of yourself. No. This is awful. Man, it actually was a porta potty. Look at all the flies. I can't, I wasn't prepared to face a friend's death. Is, is this really happening? Sayaka. Haruyuki. I'm sorry about Sayaka, but our priority right now is to just get out of here alive. We have to find Ayumi Shinozaki. Poor Sayaka. We should take something of hers back with us to preserve her memory. Your fault. What? You! Isn't this all your fault? You're sorry you want to preserve her memory? Are you fucking kidding me? Don't you even care? Do you have any conscience at all? Heavenly Host Elementary, the Nirvana. All of it! You're the one who gives Senoki this bullshit! And you know what that meant for Sayaka. I'm an intelligence agent. I take pride in what I do, and I do the best job I can. No matter what, I'm not responsible for what people do with the intel I give them. You know that. I'm sorry. It's all your fault. What you did is unforgivable. Oh shit, metal music. Yeah, I spent like 20 minutes to get the ending that kills me. Lucky me, right? Fuck. What am I doing? No, I, I just wanted... I just wanted to talk to you one last time. I don't need the money. I don't even care about the book. Please, God, please save me.
And with that, my consciousness faded. What a try, Pain. He's the coolest character in Naruto. Aside from Satoshi and my other friends who shared the experience with me, there wasn't a soul in the world who believed that Psycho, Suzumoto, Morishigi, or Miss Yui ever existed. And this fact was really taking its toll on me. Particularly in regards to Psycho. Are you alright, Naomi? Hey, look, it's the guy that looks like me! Yeah, I'm fine. I can't keep worrying about my mom forever. I flashed the brightest smile I could muster, though. I'm still not sure he entirely bought it. I'm glad to hear. Keep that shit up. We'll get through this. Thanks. There's no need to be worried about me anymore, okay? All I could manage to do was stand perfectly still and stare at my desk. I was mumbling something, but I don't even know what. My eyes had glazed over. It was like I was in a trance. Maybe I just wanted to be. Oh, she's got the crazy eyes. I'm not the one who's wrong. I'm not wrong. She's real. It's everyone else. It's everyone else who's crazy. She's got the crazy eyes. Those who refuse to believe another person, no matter what, can go burn in the fires of hell. They could look into my heart. They see it's the truth. My friend exists. It's my friend named Psycho, Psycho, Psycho. I didn't even realize I'd actually started writing. I was at my desk now writing words into my notebook. Psycho, Psycho. I kept softly repeating her name to myself over and over again. The words started to sound foreign in my head. I couldn't stop saying it, almost like I'd forget her if I, if I did. There's another sound in the room, just a scratching of pencil and paper and the hushed sound of my voice. It's the word Psycho in all of his forms. My voice was getting firmer each time I said it, more demanding. And my writing was growing more feverish, more intense. Finally, the pencil broke in half under the strain. I gripped it so hard that it stabbed into my palm. Blood began to drip into the paper. Got my life into pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> this is getting so emo. <laughs> my head was uh, hanging limply, but the rest of my body had stiffened. If anyone had seen me, I bet I would uh, I would have been quite a sight. I could feel blood rushing to my head. My whole body quivered. I raised my head from this vigil and realized tears were streaming down my face. What did she look like? My voice was straining, choking back a sentence I'd hoped I'd never say. Isn't that some shit, though? Like, when people die in Heavenly Host, they literally disappear from this, like, world like they never existed? That shit's crazy. Ren, there's no tentacles in the stream. I promise. There were countless pictures of Psycho drawn in my notebook. But on every one of them, her face was blank. Ah! I hurled the notebook from my desk. Don't go, don't leave me, stay inside me. I don't want you to fade away, I don't want you to fade away. I slammed my hands on, my, on the desk with all my might and screamed as loud as my present constitution would allow. I opened up the photo album on my phone. There was this nagging sensation in the back of my head that I'd overlooked something. Damn, that is so crazy to think about, though. Like, imagine if this actually happened to your, like, best friend or some shit. Or your family. They literally just disappeared from this world and you're the only one that remembered them. And even then, your memory of them was fading fast. Like, how crazy would that shit be? I was absolutely bawling at this point. My face was a mess. But I had indeed overlooked something. On the bottom right of the screen, there was an icon for image modification. After a few menu selections, I found myself adjusting the picture's brightness. 
kept hitting the button to turn it up higher and higher. Slowly in the very center of the black void that had pla uh, replaced Psycho's face, I could see something begin to form. The troll face. Felt like I was on the verge of an incredible discovery filled with new hope I hadn't felt just, since just before the incident at Shinozaki Estate. There was still room to increase the brightness. There were still countless increments to go before I had reached the phone's upper limit. I just kept pressing the button over and over. Now finally, in the very center of the would-be face, I could make out an extremely faint pattern. It looked like freehand lettering spelling the name Sachi and Aragami. Aragami? Was that right? Was I certain that's what it said? Instinctively, I placed the phone screen closer to my eye. The limited resolution made this pointless, but I didn't care. It was so close I was beginning to lose focus, but it still wasn't close enough. I had to make sure that's what it said. I touched it to my forehead, as near as my eye could get. At which point the letters latched into, onto my cornea. They literally attached themselves to my eye. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> they were there. No matter where I looked, I saw them. My vision had gone half white, obscured by the phantom letters. It was only a moment before the pain set in, and it was not an insignificant amount. Oh my fucking god! I collapsed to the ground, hand in ineffectually covering my eye. It was absolutely excruciating. Man, there's just a whole bunch of like weird witchcrafty bullshit scary shit that happens in this game. That's around when my mom burst through the door. It looked like she was uh, at the end of her roof, like she didn't believe anything was wrong. I was probably just faking it. She was definitely more annoyed than concerned. <laughs> but nothing more than a grunt. She grabbed me from behind, pinning my arm so I couldn't hurt myself. I fell backward onto my rear, unable to resist her restraint. <laughs> it hurts, Mom! My eye really hurts! Medicine! I keep telling you to take your medicine. How many times do I have to say it before it sinks in? Mom, no, this is different. It hurts! It hurts! It hurts! My eye's on fire! Honestly, why can't you just behave yourself every day the same thing? No, that's not it. My eye. Mom, it hurts. Uh, what about your eye? Let me see it. My left eye was glazed over with tears and had gone as bloodshot as an eye can get. Holy eyeball! That is not normal. And right on the cornea, white blister-like bulges were beginning to form. Filling out Sachi. There was no way my mom could ignore or dismiss that. <laughs> You quickly step back in shock, finally acknowledgement. <laughs> Her breathing had quickened, but she didn't say anything. She just left the room. <laughs> mom! It was too late. She was gone. Halfway across her house by the time I called out. <laughs> mom! 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 <laughs> I'll sprawl out in the corner of my room like a giant stuffed bear at some point. I think I lost consciousness, but I'm still not really sure. How, how long have I been sitting here? Yeah, I would CPS the fuck out of this place. God damn, son. Refusing to take child to the doctor. That's a removal right there. I was starting to feel a little less tense, a little more relaxed. I looked up. At the prospect of actually discerning detail in my room, my left eye reacted with a sharp, intense shot of pain. My vision was still half white. My God, it wasn't a dream, was it? It was real. I feel the pain with every pulse and every part of my body. It was almost unbearable. And yet, Mom, what happened to Mom? She'd run out of the room in shock and obviously I'd been gone for quite some time. As sick as she was of me, I couldn't imagine she'd leave me to suffer without doing anything. I opened my bedroom door and slowly crept downstairs. Here is sound coming from the kitchen, a very specific, very peculiar sound repeating at regular intervals. Did she fucking kill herself? I did my best to sneak over to the doorway and peek in und undetected. And what I saw was my mom sharpening a kitchen knife. With intense focus. I had no idea what she planned to do with it, but an irrational fear washed over me. I slowly and silently sneaked my way over to the front entrance. Made sure not to make a peep to be heard from until I was outside and away from the house. Kishinuma, it was a new morning, bright and early. Satoshi called out to me like I was 12 or something. 
I'd been out in this old, cheap, run-down two-story apartment building for a long time now. May not have been much to look at, but felt I'd had a certain charm. Natasha was cradling his school back in his arms as he waited for me in front of my room on the ground floor. On mornings when he was, wasn't waylaid by Yuka, he, he would always drop by and invite me to school with him. Originally, he was doing it for my own good, as I'd been known to did school a lot, and he figured a friendly offer like this might get my attendance up a little. Admittedly, it worked. What'd you do with the next case you had? A kid with a bloodshot eye. I mean, I've had worse. I've had way worse. My supervisor tends to like giving me medically fragile kids. Those are the cases I normally get. Like, each worker in my unit, she kind of like tailors which cases she thinks suits each worker. Like, the more ghetto cases to one worker. Uh... The more, uh, the kids with the mental illness to one. The kids with a lot of, like, medical problems to me. Stuff along those lines. So, in and out of the hospital a lot. Talking to a lot of doctors and that kind of shit. So, this would be kind of least of all for me. If it was just a weird bloodshot eye. Yeah! I finally made my entrance. Or my exit, I suppose. I'm pretty sure Satoshi must have been really confused that I had my shoulders one hell of a backpack boasting a full-on survival kit provisions so that worked. Yep, Satoshi was confused, alright. What's all that? You look like you're ready to hike up a mountain or something. I slowly, carefully lowered the giant backpack to the ground. Uh, 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 no, it's uh, more yeah. like... Actually, before that, will you stop calling me, uh, so out to I... me like you're my mom or something? I'm not in grade school anymore. Huh? Ah, forget it. I actually have things to do, so I won't be going to school today. I mean, I'm going for a mountain hike, like you said. Sorry to waste your time. I didn't think I'd go down so easy last night. I remember taking a hit to the back of my head. Bad enough that I woke up in a hospital or something. God, what the hell am I doing? Wait for me, Shinozaki, I'm coming. You're hiding something from me again. I guess I wasn't all that convincing, but even still, I wasn't expecting Satoshi to see through me so quickly and easily. I stumbled under his glare. It was almost like I'd been, just been called out by a newborn baby or like a fawn. Dude was way too innocent for his own good. Can't fault him on his instincts, one of his biggest selling points, I guess. He's really good at empathizing with others and helping them get over the, their problems. Hey, he's like me! Even more now. Imagine this music playing with Zen, when Zen encounters Big Lips. It would go perfectly if Big Lips danced, too. Come on, out with it. You can't hide anything from me. Ah, uh, no, I guess not. I mean, his face appeared in the back of my mind. Shinozaki said she didn't want Satoshi and the others to get involved any more than they already were. But I can't very well tell him I'm trying to find Aiko, so I can't go back there. That's that something to do with Heavenly Host, doesn't it? Huh? Damn, he was on today! That sure seemed like a yes reaction to me! How the hell did you know? God damn it! I'm terrible at this. I covered my mouth, but it was too late. I had already confirmed it. Well, you've got a bunch of talismans in your bag for one thing. I did have a lot of talismans with me. I bought them at the convenience store and didn't exactly pack smartly enough to hide them. I certainly wasn't going to win any awards for stealth. Didn't that place fall apart, though? Please don't tell me it's still standing. Yeah. No. We saw it collapsing around us when we escaped. We saw it too, it's a rubble. Satoshi stared deeply into my eyes as if evaluating my answer for any possible deception. This time it seemed like I'd succeeded in fooling him. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Besides, Sachiko doesn't exist there anymore, so I can't imagine talismans would have any effect. There's no way to get back there anyway. And exactly, I was, I was just going to go research it a little. I wasn't going to do anything dangerous. Okay, that's fine. 
But if that changes, then make sure you do that on your own. I've been telling Naomi the same thing. The worst thing in the world is not knowing what happened to someone. Well, you know. I thought I was in the clear, but Satoshi suddenly got a puzzled look on his face. He reached over to my backpack and pulled out one of the talisman I'd lazily stuck in the front pouch. Do these things really work? He was looking at it over like an appraiser or something. Why don't you just leave me alone? How should I know? People used to use sardine heads to ward off evil. It's probably just as effective. I yanked the talisman back out of Satoshi's end and crammed it into the front pocket of my school blazer. Man. I haven't heard somebody talk about that in forever. You're like an old man sometimes, Yoshiki. Shut up, damn it. Either way, first things first, you're going to school today? With that, with this, Satoshi grabbed my sleeve. Huh? Oh, why? Because your attendance is low enough already. And Miss Kuan said she'd help you make it up before class today. I'll go to the or something. I don't give a crap about that. They can hold me back a year if they have to. This is not the time for school. I take it this has something to do with Shinazaki, right? What? Was this guy psychic? He hadn't been wrong all morning. Whatever happened, it'll wait. You can tell me all about it at school. Come on, let's go. You can leave the backpack right here. Seems Satoshi wasn't going to take no for an answer. Yo, seriously, Satoshi, stop. I get her, okay? Just come on. Get your hands off me. You want me to be honest with you? I'll be honest with you. Sure you will. Come on! Satoshi, Kishinuma, good morning. Good morning. Hey. You're a lucky one, Kishinuma, getting off with just a 15 minute quiz. I hope you're ready for it. Whatever. Yoshi, um, Yoshiki has been made aware of the seriousness of this situation. I seriously don't have time for this, you know. But here I am. Let's just get it over with so I can get the hell out of here. It's great of you to come. Now let's be out of the classroom, shall we? It's fine right here. Just bring me the quiz. Don't be stupid, Yoshiki. Look, there's no time to argue. There's some place I absolutely have to be. I stuck my hand in my pocket and took out a mechanical pencil. If they're going to force me to do this, I'd need to shave off every second I could. As I removed the pencil, the talisman I'd shoved in there earlier fell to the ground. Hmm? Need to hurry to find that spirit item fanatic or else Shinazaki could be. Spirit item fanatic? Are you talking about Aiko Niwa? Yeah, sir. Did something happen to Shinazaki? Wait, are you trying to tell me she somehow went back to Heavenly Host? Ah! Yes! Why don't you say so sooner? Because you weren't listening to me. All you did was yank, yank, yank on my damn shirt. What's this about I and Heavenly Host? Oh, it's nothing. Wait. I? I come to think of it, your last name is Niwa. That's right. The person you just mentioned, Aiko Niwa, is my sister. I call her Ai. Miss Kuan, I'd like to meet with Aiko. Do you know where I could find her? Hmm? At this hour, I'd imagine she's at school. But she's been acting rather strange lately. Hmm. You live with her, Miss Kuan? I do. So this would have been uh, after Shinazaki and I met her. How was she acting exactly? Like, what was strange about it? Well, I, uh, I may have said something to you. Huh? <laughs> this is rather awkward. Uh, okay, and then what? Oh yeah, she said that she's got a crush on my character. Ah! There we go. Well, let's see. She was holding two small blue stones in her hand, almost cradling them, in fact. Bingo! That's it, she had another pair. But this is our chance. 
Miss Kuan, do you know for sure that Aiko went to school today? Looked rather perturbed as she left the house last night. She wasn't home when I got uh, got up this morning. I made some breakfast and waited for her, but I wound up eating it all. Yoshiki! Yoshiki! She's a student on her own. The end of it. There's no other way to go after Shinozaki. Yoshiki, wait! Thank you, Miss Kuan. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to bring it back. Right. Oh, some bad shit's about to happen. Some really bad shit's about to happen. As Satoshi turned to leave, he caught a glimpse of Na Nakashimi. Nakashima standing on the school roof on the wrong side of the guardrail, looking tired and worn. Oh, well, okay, GG. There's no spark in her eyes, no awareness. It looked almost as if she were sleepwalking. Naomi! Naomi! <laughs> this is bad! <laughs> oh, hey! It's, uh, it's my original character. <gasps> I tried to pick myself up and look around. But I could only move my neck. Everything was dark, and the only sign of my surroundings was an unpleasant, vaguely organic noise filling my ears. I felt in some way restrained. <gasps> What's going on? As my eyes adjusted to the dim light of the room, I could see that I was blanketed by red flesh. It was as if the floor had come to life and was absorbing me, absorbing me into its collective. <laughs> this is disgusting! <laughs> God! <laughs> uh. Crookedy crawling. I focused my strength and was finally able to break free from my binding. It's a red matter flying away from my body as I tore through it to freedom. I was absolutely soaked, however, with a strange viscous fluid and chunks of meat were clinging fast to my skin and clothes. The blanket of flesh on the ground was now bubbling out a murky red liquid from all the spots I torn in my skin, as violently as if a faucet had been turned to full. What the hell was that? Ew. I was in tears, trying as hard as I could to wipe the vichera from my body. As I watched, however, a chunk I had been trying to uh, shake from, from the back of my hand just dissolved away. <laughs> Aside from the murmurs of the flesh blanket, the room was deathly silent, and it's only by a faint blue glow streaming in from the nearby window. This is still a heavenly house for sure. Oh, no, not this thing again. An entity resembling Mayu was charging at me from the depths of the darkness. <laughs> ah! It was all in my head. A flashback. She wasn't after me now, but she definitely had been. <laughs> that was really Suzumoto, wasn't it? The tears were pouring out of my eyes by this point. I could do nothing to hold them back. Can I really do it? Can I bring them back? Can I really even find the Book of Shadows in this endless darkness? Maybe I shouldn't have come. I crashed on the floor to gather my thoughts and noticed that my cell phone was lying on the ground beside me. That wasn't all. A circular design was carved in the floor, perfectly round as if traced by compass. With the fleshy goo I'd been trapped in more or less centered inside. What the? Actually, come to think of it. Wasn't I about to get attacked by some kind of monster for the next? I checked myself over for injuries. There were none. Or at least none caused by an axe. How am I still alive? Guess I get, uh, I, I must have skinned my, skinned my knee when I tripped. If memory serves it, and, and if the floor plan hadn't changed too much, the infirmary should be right there. Maybe I can touch my breath there for a minute. Ah! The hard wooden, uh, Flops on my footsteps gave way to a softer, squishier series of flops. Taken aback by this sudden change, I looked down terrified at what I was looking at. As I feared, whatever it was looked awfully biological. Huge swaths of the floor were coated in what looked like internal organs, moving and swaying and pulsing in a sick rhythm. <laughs> this is really disturbing. What is it? I raised my foot and found a seaweed-like substance that closely resembled a network of blood vessels. Stuck to the bottom of my shoe. There wasn't anything like this at a heavenly host before. It looked like the whole school was being swallowed by something. 
something on the floor. A bandage. Those are. They look a lot like the occult symbols we found in the basement of the Shinozaki estate from different. A little more demonic, I guess. Whatever they are, I'm getting shivers just looking at them. Calm down, I can just focus on what you have to do. There's a good chance that this girl has a book of shadows. And she looks a lot like Yuki. If I talk to her and tell her what's happening, I'm sure she'll give me the book. Just before I passed out, I thought I saw her, but she had a very different aura than before. I should leave a candle here. Maybe Mizuto will see it. Hopefully Mizuto will see it. No matter matches, I wonder if there are any nearby. Matches, come on. Matches, come on. you guys this is where we're gonna be calling it a day i need to go get some freaking sleep i am exhausted so this is gonna be the end of the video um i'm gonna be coming home late tomorrow i have to work late tomorrow and you know how i said I, I i got friday off i might not have gotten friday off because there's so much fucking work that it never ends but if i did then i'll stream in the middle of the day if i didn't then i'll see you late on friday on my normal afternoon stream schedule anyways guys you have a good one Good night. Goodbye. See you later.